The United Nations maintains that it will continue working with Qatar charity foundations in spite of their being named in a list drawn up by Saudi Arabia designating them as terrorist organizations. Stefan Dura-Jerisic, Dura spokesman for the Secretary General, defended the UN's association, saying it was based on shared humanitarian principles, which are strictly non-political, and the groups were a critical part of the UN-coordinated humanitarian response plans in Yemen, Syria, and Iraq. CGTN's Adel Mahuri is in Doha and has been following the fallout of this diplomatic spot. He filed the following report. The four countries leading the diplomatic rift, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, have accused Qatar of sheltering and funding terrorists. They've released a statement naming individuals and organizations in Qatar as extremists. The groups include five Qatari charity organizations, six groups based in Bahrain and the Benghazi Defenders Brigade. At least 59 people have been declared terrorists, most of them residents in Qatar. There are 26 Egyptians on the list, including members of the Muslim Brotherhood, Al Jamaa Al Islamiyya, and many more. Most of the remaining alleged extremists are Qataris. Others are from Libya, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Jordan, Yemen, and the United Arab Emirates. The four Arab nations have vowed to take all necessary measures to track down and bring these people to justice. They've accused Qatar of violating several regional agreements to combat terrorism. But Doha insists it's fully committed to the fight against extremism and it doesn't believe that these individuals or organizations are terrorists. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Doha, Qatar.